Hello everyone, and welcome to this pyrography tutorial of a little elephant. You can find this reference picture on this royalty-free website called Pexels, and I have the image that I used linked down in the description below. I did a quick trace of the image and transferred it onto the wood with some transfer paper. And I'll be using a flat shader and a coal wood detailer wood burning pen. For the finer details, I use a small round wire to make sharp lines if I need it. I always start my temperature in the middle, around 4.5, and see what adjustments I need to make from that based on how dark it burns on the wood. Better to start off at a lower heat and work your way up than to start high and accidentally make marks that are too dark. I don't normally adjust the heat once I find that sweet spot, and I'll just move slower if I want to burn darker, and move faster if I want to burn lighter. Since I don't adjust my temperature when burning, one of the things I do to control the heat is to blow on the tip, especially when working in lighter areas. I always start burning where it's darkest on the picture so that if I make a mistake early on, I can always just burn darker over it while I'm finding the groove in what I'm burning. I ended up only using this tip to burn the elephant. This is my favorite tip because it's so versatile with what you can do with it, whether you want a smooth shading over a large area or you want to make small details. All you have to do is tilt the tip to the side for sharp lines tilt it forward for small detail areas, and it's good for fading out smoothly going dark to light as well. I like to block out areas of the basic shade that I want, and I'll go in later adding details and making spots darker where they need to be. Doing blocks of shading like this helps you learn the wood you're burning on to see how fast it darkens and if there's any tricky spots that burn differently. You'll see this more often with types of wood like pine, which have a strong grain and can have sappy spots. Whenever I make a mistake, or there's still graphite showing through the burn, I'll take a small X-Acto blade and scrape away the mistake trying to go in the direction of the grain, that way I don't have any gouge marks. If the mistake is large, I'll just, use, I'll just take a 220 grit sandpaper and sand away the area, moving in the direction of the grain.
here's where we're at now. Burning tends to look messy for a while, so don't worry about it. It'll look better once we start adding in the details. When working in an area that will have a lot of detail, like this trunk, I'll add a few wrinkles and then try to match the shadows from the reference picture before adding any tiny details. I used to go hardcore on the details early on, but then adding the shadow after it would get lost, which was then a waste of time and sometimes the idea comes across without having to spend all that time in detail land. With a picture like this, you can add a lot of detail, or only a little, and it'll still look good. I opted out of adding a ton of wrinkles to the trunk. It gets a little frustrating for me when I'm trying to add too much detail on a picture this size. If I was working on a larger piece, I would definitely add a lot more of the texture that you see on the elephant's skin. The hardest part of this piece will be the ears. The way they fold to make it look 3D, you really have to pay attention to how the shadows are showing. It does take some practice, but after a few times, the shadows will make sense. When I started pyrography, there weren't many tutorials on YouTube, so I want to make tutorials on burns that give people trouble to help speed up their learning process and answer any questions anyone has. This elephant was a request from someone who DM'd me so they could see how this type of texture was burned. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future burns, let me know in the comments below. This piece took about two hours to complete. I hope the sped up version, you can still see how I move the tip to get certain effects on the burn. And I'll leave you here to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching.